previously on Mariam Q Lifestyle. Happy New Year and welcome to 2023. God is so good. No more, no more leaving it behind. You cannot stop my shine. Yeah. You cannot run me dry. Okay. Hey guys, so, oh, can you see me? <laughs> hey guys, today is the 2nd of February, we're in the month of February, the month of love, so today I'm going to go and get my lashes done, my hands are dry, <laughs> nothing new, I'm going to get my lashes done and I'm going to go and get my natural hair treated and I might be getting a silk press, so um, yeah, this month is the month of love, you know, you got to love God first, love others, love yourself. So I'm currently reading this Bible plan about mental health, I can't, well I choose to remember what it's called, so I will put it on the screen once I've gone on my phone. But um, it talks a lot about self-love and it says that, the word says that we should love ourselves, love others as we love ourselves, but if you don't have self-love, if you don't have any love for yourself, if you don't respect yourself or care for yourself, how are you supposed to do that to others? So it is vital, vital to make sure that you have love for yourselves. And yeah, I just never really looked at it like that before. I just used to look at it as, oh, well, we have to be selfless. We have to make sure we care for others more than us. But if you really deep it, you also have to have love for yourselves in order to love others as you love yourself. So yeah. And that's not me like focusing on the materialistic things. I know I said I'm going to go and get my lashes done, my hair treated. Those are form of care, but I just want to touch in a bit deeper than that. So yeah. So today I'm treating and taking care of myself. So yeah, let's kick off February. I'm going to go now because we're driving. I need to get me some petrol. Oh, no, I need, I need, I need, I need to get me some gas. Like y'all, I need to get me some gas. A few moments later. So I'm running a little bit, bit late. Um, I'm just outside my lash, is it lash tech, lash artist, what, they, what, what you call them? Lash tech's um, house. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go get my lashes done and I'll see you when they're finished. Guys, I don't know if it's only me, but my lashes sting. Like they were sting, like tears were running down my face. And no, it's not like bogey or anything under my nose. It's literally the tears running down my face. I just couldn't wipe them. So if you're thinking, oh, what's that on her face? It's just tears. Like, look how red my eyes are. Um, but I've now got a 30 minute drive to my next appointment, which is my, it's pretty dark. I've got a 30 minutes drive to my next appointment, which is my hair. And then I'm gonna get that 10 minutes before my appointment. So in that 10 minutes, I'm gonna quickly take off my wig and undo my cornrows so she can then treat my natural hair. It literally sounds so ghetto but I was literally taking up my cornrows in the traffic because it was so tight like the traffic was so bad and I was just like if I wait till I get to the hairdresser's like house and start taking my cornrows there I'm not gonna make it in time. So whilst my car was paused in the traffic while well, still in the traffic I was just like <laughs> Because I didn't want to be late. That was my first time going there, so I did not want to be late at all. The treatment that she did for me, oh, it was just so therapeutic. It curls, but it could go more ringlet because the back of your hair is loose. <laughs> can see your girl has a lot of split ends I haven't been treating my hair guys I haven't been like looking after it at all so I had a lot of split ends but she did a great job like she trimmed them for me and I can't wait to see her again I have an appointment well I have to book an appointment in like three more not three more weeks three months it's like a three months interval 
So yeah, she was really good. I'll put her Instagram in here so you guys can check her out as well because she did such a great job. So during the month of love, <laughs> it's really important to, you know, focus on godly love because at the end of the day, God is love and any other love outside of that cannot amount to the love that he has for us. And in order to make sure that you're walking in that love and have that love, it's one important way to do that is by studying his word because through that you'll be able to understand the love that he has for us and the kind of love he wants us to share and that's through how Christ Christ was on earth and how he acted on earth on earth I don't know why I think it's because I talked so far so my words are but yeah so as I was saying like it's really important for us to focus on that love and you know just throughout the not only in February but just throughout like every day it's really important for us to remember that love before any other kind of love so, yeah every Tuesday I try my best to do a further long Bible study so in the mornings I have my quiet time but they can't they're not that long so every Tuesday when I fast I try to do that so yeah that's what I did that Tuesday morning So this is the Bible notebook that I got from Amazon. Um, it says, wherever I am afraid, I will trust in you. And that's from Psalm 56 verse three. And it's a beautiful Bible study journal to write in. So on the pages, it has a note section, the date, the scripture you're reading, what you're praying for, who God is to you, what is God teaching you, Thank you God for and three things to thank God for and how God manifests in my life. Yeah, so this is how it is like filled in. So over here I have the date. This is when I read Proverbs 1 verse 7. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. And then I am also going to be doing 30 minutes of studying possessions. So what we as children of God our possessions in Christ so um, this is the month of possession in my church so I want to really understand what it is that I have possession of and take hold of that and bring it back so this is going to be in this notebook this is not because that one's for scriptures so this is where I write like notes and things of like what I've studied so as you can see here it says Pastor Chris three kinds of wisdom part one part two so these are my notes from them um what's this Mike Todd crazier faith so yeah, this, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do 30 minutes of Proverbs and then 30 minutes of Possession. So yeah, let's get into it. And this says, once upon a time there was a queen who was born in June 1998. It was me. The end. <laughs> and this is another cute, um, it's Prayers and Promises for Women. My sister wrote from me. And at the back it says, Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. And inside it, it has topics in like scriptures that refer to them. So yeah. I'm gonna dive into the word and yeah, take some time. So I'll just lie a bit. Y'all, I had to tell the production to stop that recording. Like, I had to tell them. Because, no, honestly, I had to stop the recording myself because my subconscious was focusing on the fact that I was recording instead of studying. So once I stopped it, it was actually good because then I could actually solely focus on studying the word. And then after that, I ended up listening to some of Kenneth Hagen's sermon on our, our inheritance, which was really powerful. I need to go and finish that, actually, because it was really, really powerful. lunch, dinner, I don't know, what's in the middle of lunch and dinner? Linner, linner. So I'm going out for dinner <laughs> and um, there's no need for me to have like a proper meal. So this is a very good meal replacement. Well, this is going to be inside here. That's just my 
um, shaker. So yeah, I am a protein world ambassador if you're not aware. And they have kindly sent me some more things. So in my last video, I mentioned how much I like their strawberry flavor slender blend. So my chocolate one. Shame. I'm gonna ask him for a chocolate one next time. Then for sure we're next time. Yay! Okay, so they sent me the strawberry slender blend and vanilla chocolate chip um pancakes. Yeah, I'm going on a solo date today and I thought let me not eat because I'm gonna eat whilst I'm out. So I'll just quickly have this before I go. And guys, it has some really, really good health benefits. So I'm gonna share it with you. It's on their website if you guys want some more information. So it says it has low calories. Um, it's packed with protein to aid in the maintenance and growth of muscle. Plus with no added sugar and a low fat content, it makes for the perfect weight for loss partner girls. Um, it's boosted with pre and pro probiotics, vitamin C and essential B vitamins. Um, it also helps to, sorry I'm bending down. <laughs> It also helps to upkeep your immune system and keeps your hair, it's not my real one, but my hair underneath, skin and nails looking really good. To be fair, my skin is, my nails are actually really, really good. So, I don't know, this might be it. So, yeah, it has a lot of vitamins and minerals there. So, yeah, I'm going to have mine now. And then I'm going to head on out. You guys are going to follow me. Um, also, guys, if you want a cheeky discount, you can get 40% off with using my code. Um, so, I'll put that on the screen. It's called PW Marium Q. 40% off. Um, so, it's four scoops and 40 grams of, well, 40 milliliters. What was it? 400 milliliters. Oh, you can have it, oh, if you want it as a more replacement, you can have it almond milk or like, you know, any other type of milk. I drink oat milk. But I'm going to have it water because I don't want it to be too heavy because I am going to eat pretty soon. So, yeah. Get some water in there. This is 500 milliliters. I think the majority of this. Okay. Yeah. 500 milliliters. And then four scoops. Sorry. The heater is on, right? So my back is actually... You can't see me. <laughs> the heater is on. So my back is actually burning. I think I might sit down now. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down. I didn't want to sit down initially because the box is covering my face. Whew, that's much better. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna need four scoops of this. One. Two. Three. Oh, it smells so good. I love it. Four. So yeah, I normally take this like as a more replacement. Or if I'm hungry and I don't want to eat too much carbs. Oh my gosh, you guys haven't even seen me because I'm sitting down. I'm sorry. This is, I've just put myself in a predicament. I just can't bother to fix my tripod right now, guys. I'm so sorry. But yeah. Shaking it, shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. <laughs> And then, oh my gosh, my hands. Guys. Sorry, I think it's because I'm going to rush to go out and take you guys there with me. <laughs> so, yeah. This is the strawberry blender blend. And it just tastes amazing. Like, it actually tastes so nice. Amazing. Amazing. Gosh, oh, my hands are dry. Nothing new. Let's hope. Let's hope. Ay! Your girl has a little bit of dry hands at the moment, guys. I need to fix up. <laughs> How do you get to fix up? But to be honest, a uh, moisturizing company needs to sponsor me because why is it every single time, every single video, I talk about dry hands? Like, why? Marion, do better. Nivea, if you're watching this, shout me. Shout me. So guys, I have just had my protein shake. I don't even know where I put the shake on. But um, yeah, I am now off to central London. Like I said, I'm going on a solo date. So I'm going to this exhibition. And then after that, 
I'm gonna go and taste some Shake Shack. I've never had Shake Shack before and I've been wanting to have it for the longest, the longest time. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going there. I'm gonna have some fun. I love a little immersive exhibition. So yeah, I'm gonna check that out and then I'm going to go and eat. But I can't like that protein shake is like filled me up a bit, which is actually a good thing because I won't be hungry whilst at the exhibition. I think it's actually kind of pretty quick. It's like a free one as well, which is cool. So yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. I've got to make sure I have everything. So we've got the keys. Where are the car keys? Okay, car keys are there. The neck is there. Your girl, is there any gun? AirPods are in there. Are they don't tell me I don't have any gum. Do not tell me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. I need hand cream. Again. Hand cream, sis. Nivia, are you hearing me? Come and help your girl out. Come. Let's make money together. <laughs> I can really help publicise you the amount of times I talk about dry hands and hand cream. Because people will be able to see the difference. Like, I won't be having dry hands anymore. Sorry, Marion, stop looking at the camera. I mean, stop looking at the viewfinder. Look at the camera. No? Yes. No? Yes. Cool. So I need hand cream. Ow! Ow! I just hurt myself. Tell me why I have my gimbal equipment on the floor. This is what I get. <sighs> Been a bit bougie, got some Ted Baker and cream over here. So, oh, hairbrush. <laughs> Oprah, Oprah, okay. Oh, wait. I don't know if this is my mum's or my sister's, but anyone's. I'm taking your, I'm taking your pashmina. I'm gonna be a classy girl today. Guys, so I, I don't know. I just look so washed out on this camera and it's just doing my head in. But I am just parked outside the um, train station. So I'm gonna go and hop on the train and get myself to Tottenham Court Road. So yeah, let's get out of the car, baby. <laughs> So guys, I came here, it's really dark, I came here and oh this is pretty, okay. <gasps> A bit of it is closed, like the main bit, but then this bit, look. So yeah, the bit where like the big room is, there are, what's that The bit where the big room is, there's like a student function going on there at the moment, which finishes at 9pm, so I'm not going to stay here until 9pm just to see this, but it is really pretty though. I'm going to show you this room. It was really nice. I like like what was going on on the screens. <laughs> I don't sound very what's the word <laughs> knowledgeable about art, but I just like the way it looks. Really and truly, I'm gonna be real. I'm not gonna be like I love how the work the butterflies were moving with the swings and everything was in the sky and it was all beautiful. No, no, no. It just looked nice to me. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. It just looked nice to me. <laughs> but um, yeah. So after that, I just walked around like. Tottenham Court Road. I saw some other nice places there that was nice and then your girl started to feel hungry so I headed over to Shake Shack. It's not, the math is not math in. It's not math in. Um, I didn't want to speak because it was pretty noisy, um, but 
the place was cute it, to me it's just an overpriced fast food restaurant just a bit like five guys one thing i'm going to say is that the customer service was actually amazing guys why was my burger speaking to me my burger said hello are you ready to eat and i was just like huh why are you still alive i'm so sorry my burger was pink it was pink <laughs> But this is why I say again, the customer service was nice because I complained about it and they gave me a fresh burger that wasn't pink this time. And they actually compensated me with a milkshake, which was very, very nice. It was a caramel milkshake and it was... It's my friend's birthday. Oh my gosh, my face looks so dewy. I don't know if I like that. Sorry, I'm recording on my phone and I haven't put my tripod yet. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the car. Sorry. I'm running late. Hey, we're in the car, on the way to pick the birthday girl up. I haven't seen this girl in, um, how many months? We haven't that's seen actually half a year. Yeah, we haven't seen each other in half a year, half a year and now she has brown hair. We're just on our way. I'm vlogging on my phone, so if you can't see me, that's why. But I'm literally in the dark anyway. Um, no, not really. Happy birthday, Candy! Happy birthday! Thank you. <laughs> so this was kind of like a surprise for Candy. She literally just thought it was, I believe, she just thought it was her and Monique. I think going out, but she didn't know where they were going as well. Okay, so guys, so um, she thinks we're going to Tiger Bay. We're not. We're going to somewhere called Venue Twenty Two Nine Five. She actually mentioned it, but we ignored it. Yeah, but like she did. She's acting like disgusted. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she knows what it is. That's why. That's why we didn't want Yeah. <laughs> Production team needs to have a word. I need to have a word with you guys because why is the tripod getting in the vlog? Let me know. Adam, Stacey, any of you want to tell them why the tripod's getting in the vlog? Nah, alright, cool. Because this is my fault. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the restaurant was so, so cute. The aesthetics, just the way it looked, is so, so nice. The food was so nice. The DJ was so nice. Even the entertainment, it was really cool. Like, I would say 10 out of 10, but I think I'm gonna be stingy with that extra one just because it's not their problem. It's kind of a me problem. It's just far. Like, why are you like an hour and a half away from me? If it was closer, I'm definitely sure that would be a local spot. Definitely sure. Because it was amazing. I really enjoyed this vlog because I feel like normally February vlogs are like, you know, date night or romantic getaway. But I like the fact that I did other things that were also had like love elements in it. So that, you know, from the self-care to... Bible study to you know going out by myself celebrating my friends they're all different forms of love and I think it's really nice to just show that it doesn't always have to be one certain way and even if it's that way then that's beautiful because that's the way you enjoy it but I really enjoyed it I feel like with me I'm just someone who likes a lot of things so the fact that I was able to express that this month was really really nice and yeah I hope you all had a lovely February and I hope you all had a lovely Valentine's day and I pray that that love that you experienced this month follows you forever. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in my next vlog. I always forget to do stuff like this. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Comment down below what your favourite part of the vlog was and yeah, I will see you guys later. Stay blessed and stay happy. Bye! Let me dry. Okay. Shell Kate, let me talk to you. Uh, look at me, look at me. Tell me what you see.